Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, April 12, 2017. I'm Gordon Murphy. Scientists in California figured out why your shoes become untied when you walk. And I'm Brianna Boutet. Do you know what an ocean planet is? We live on one. Your CSN News starts now. The Booster Club is offering a new scholarship to an NHS senior this year. The Bulldog Pride Booster Club Scholarship is based on school involvement and not just for athletes. Applicants are asked to write a 500 to 1,000 word essay on how their activities enhance their high school experience. The due date is coming up soon on Saturday, April 15th. Applicants can be found on the NHS website, in Peach Star, NHS Facebook, or just ask for one in the office. It's that time of year again. The NHS Prom Wonderlust 2017, A Dance Under the Stars, will be at Honley Farms in Eagle on Saturday from 8 to 11 p.m. Look for tickets now. Speaking of prom, if you plan to bring a guest who doesn't attend NHS, please pick up a dance guest pass at the front desk and get it turned in by no later than today by 3.30. Ladies, are you still looking for the special dream dress for prom? Or maybe you don't quite have the money to purchase one in a store? The red carpet is open every Wednesday, that's today, for you to borrow your dress. They are open from 2.30 to 6 in the Roosevelt Elementary School, uh, 1901 West Roosevelt Avenue in Nampa. Just bring your student ID and a $10 cleaning fee. Sports Med Club. We have a club activity planned for Saturday, April 29th. Please stop by the athletic training room sometime this week to pick up a permission slip and get details about the event. Also, our next meeting is on April 26th, right after school in the gym. Permission slips are due then. Please bring them to the meeting or turn them in early. Attention girls soccer player, tomorrow there will be an important meeting after school in room 668 at 245. This is specifically for all the girls who played last fall, including graduating seniors. Please make this, a me this meeting a, pri a top priority as we need to discuss some very important items regarding the end of this year and the beginning of next season. If you have any questions prior to the meeting, come see Coach Abrams. Otherwise, we'll see you there on Thursday. We'll be right back after this. Students, in Columbia High School, music plays before class begins. As the music starts playing, you have five minutes till next class or WCW. When the music stops, you have about one minute left before the next class or WCW. After the minute is over, the tardy bell rings, and by that time, you have to be in your class. If you happen to be late, you have to go to the attendance office, which is located right at the front office. Get the tardy slip, go to your class, and give the tardy slip to your teacher. Good luck and attend your classes on time. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Smiles and first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's size will have 69 with a low 48. Some clouds there. And tomorrow's size will have 59 with a low 39. Some more clouds. Back to you, Brianna. Thank you, Murph. USC Berkeley, why do your sh Oops. A team at USC Berkeley spent more than two years studying this dynamic untying, as they called it, testing different varieties of the typical bow knot in both the weak and strong configurations. Scientists walked and ran countless miles on Berkeley streets, then even more on a treadmill. With a slow motion camera, they captured and duplicated the forces that slowly break pool even the strongest knots to failure. Untied laces are not a matter of human error. It's physics, with possible future applications that might even help us understand DNA. The study concludes that impact forces loosen the knot and then the inertial force on the free ends of the laces of the swinging leg can cause complete unraveling within two strides. Today, NASA will present new discoveries about the ocean worlds and our solar system. Learning more about the ocean worlds could help in the agency's quest for life beyond Earth. The findings were gathered by researchers through the Hubble Space Telescope and the Cassini spacecraft. Cassini has been orbiting Saturn since 2004, and the mission ends this year. Earth is considered an ocean world because of those bodies of water that cover the majority of planet Earth's surface. Other ocean worlds in our solar system potentially include Jupiter's moons, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, Saturn's moon, and Kalidus, uh, Mimas, and Titans, Neptune's moon, Triton, and the dwarf planet, Pluto. It is believed that Venus and Mars were once ocean worlds, but the greenhouse gas effect and, vul and a vul vulnerable atmosphere respectfully cause those planets to lose them. The SAT word of the day is improvise, which means to invent or provide offhand or on the spur of the moment. You could use it this way. Because he had not read the book he was being asked about on his exam, Tony was forced to improvise. Thanks for watching. Remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix it. it. 